Hi, my name is Melissa Cole and today I'm going to be talking about how to safely raise monarch caterpillars in your own home. The first thing you want to do is to look for milkweed. This is milkweed right here. Um, come a little closer and I'll show you the identifying features. So when you're looking for monarch caterpillars, you kind of want to peek underneath the leaves because that's where they hang out. This is what they'll eat. This is their whole diet. They get all of their food, their nutrients, and their waters through this. So when I'm searching for monarch caterpillars, I make sure that I bring a little container with the top. They're really good escape artists. And some scissors. Just uh, snip off the milkweed because this is all that they're gonna need to eat while they're living in your home. Unfortunately, we didn't find any monarch caterpillars today hiding under those leaves, but we do have some here in the habitat. We have one right here getting ready to eat a little bit more. So the main thing you're gonna to wanna to do to keep your caterpillars safe in the home is to get them some sort of a container. It's gotta have a top. Like I said before, they are great escape artists. We also didn't want just glass on the top. We have some um, airflow so they're able to breathe. And like I said before, this milkweed is gonna be all they need to eat and to drink. You're gonna to wanna to cycle that out every few days. You can see they eat it then they um, excrete their waste. It can get a little bit stinky, but it's just as easy as pulling up the top, finding those caterpillars, taking out the waste, and giving them some new milk. So as you can see, we already have about five to six chrysalises up here. Once those caterpillars are making their way up, don't disturb them, allow them to find the place that they wanna hang from. Um, do not touch the chrysalis, allow it to harden. Just make sure that there's a little bit of light coming in and that good airflow also. Once these, these um, butterflies emerge, they're gonna hang upside down. Again, don't disturb them, just watch the beauty of that. Watch their uh, wings open up and dry. Once they're flapping those wings, they are safe to take outside so they can start their new adventures.